week 25, day two. Uh, so last night, I would say probably the first two thirds of sleeping, I felt great, slept really nice and sound. And then about two to three hours before my alarm went off, I kind of just lay there and tossed and turned. Um, but still, I woke up, had plenty of energy, felt great. Uh, had a pretty decent shoulder workout too, definitely better than the last one I did. Um, then I did the Stairmaster after that, and it actually felt pretty good. I think I'm starting to get used to that level 20 now uh, and doing the 20 minutes, which is great because I'm doing it every day of the week now. Um, after that, I had my breakfast. Now I'm going to fast the rest of the day. Uh, tomorrow morning, I'm not going to be able to work out first thing in the morning uh, like I typically do. I'm going to get some blood work done, and I'll be in a fasted state. Uh, all I could drink is water prior to getting my blood drawn. That way it doesn't influence any of my vitals or anything like that. Um, I'm also going to get a second round of blood drawn a week from today. So those will be six days apart. And then I'll go over all the data when I get that in about two to three weeks on all of the different uh, biomarkers and vitals that they're going to be testing me on. I like to get my blood work done once every six months. And it just so happens that my six month checkup here uh, kind of corresponds with the end of this prep. So I could really see what this prep has done to all my biomarkers. I got it done shortly before I started, uh, pretty much just like mid two thirds of the way through December. Um, so it'll be good to kind of look at both those data points and kind of see how everything turned out. Um, but then after I get the blood drawn, uh, I'll come home, I'll have my pre-workout drink. Tomorrow's a recovery day, thank goodness. Uh, so I'll do my 30 minute active recovery workout, which is just some light stretching, active movement, just getting some very light blood flow. Then after that, I do have to do the Stairmaster. So it'll be 20 minutes at level 20. Um, and then I'll have my breakfast after that, which I'll be consuming that probably, I don't know, two and a half to three hours later than when I typically do. Um, so I'll be definitely in a little bit of a deeper fasted state when I do my workout and cardio tomorrow morning. Um, and then I'll be eating slightly later than I typically do. So that should sustain me through the day so I don't feel as bad. Um, and then Thursday will be the start of my fifth out of six rounds of this bulk workout schedule. So I'm two thirds through it now. Um, and I can start to kind of see the light at the end of the tunnel. And that's what's just keeping me going and pushing me to just keep going to the finish line because I'm just so close. It's, it's literally like running a marathon. And at this point, I'm like about a mile and a half from the finish line. So I'm almost there. I got this. I can do this. Well, that's all I got for you guys today. Please keep it locked in here on my channel and like and subscribe and continue to follow along with me as I go through this 26-week ketogenic bodybuilding prep. I'll see you all tomorrow.